is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I Keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down pancakes and frantically calling my bank because this morning um, I woke up to a like not happy surprise and most people wouldn't share this but I am so real um, my mortgage went through twice this month and our savings is at a different bank so that basically we can't transfer as easily hi honey um, anyway watch out this is very hot <laughs> anyway um, I'm gonna, my I'm gonna bank account my was pancakes. yeah watch out very very hot anyways i like went in there and i was like oh my gosh that is super not okay um and i called my mortgage place and asked them like what was going on and then i had to do a bank to bank transfer to cover the funds like in my bank account oh girl not the way that mama wants to start a monday morning everything is taken care of and we're done we're good and I guess now we just don't have to pay our mortgage for two months, but wow, okay. I am overwhelmed. Riker. Riker, is it good? <gasps> Look at that bacon eat two piece mouth. Yeah, nummies. Yeah, nummies. I'm gonna start this roast. I wanna show you guys what I do um, for this roast. I'm gonna do like a full, just like hang out with me like day in the life. Um, and then give you guys some good like recipe ideas. We were completely out of eggs this morning So pancakes came to the rescue um, Usually I would do like crepes, but again no eggs so pancakes are fine But this barbacoa that I make requires a lot of ingredients if I don't have a pre-made seasoning packet so um, I will like insert a clip once I am done here of like what that barbacoa seasoning packet looks like I usually get it from Walmart. I can't find it from any of the other grocery stores in town But Walmart has it. It's really good. Um, and then I do like a homemade version, too What do you think? How's your breakfast? Good. Is it good? These are like perfectly shaped pancakes I'm trying to break I my want arm. a big pancake hand. Yeah, how is your pancake? No, I want a big pancake. I want a big, big, big oh my pancake. 
Mm -hmm. I don't want my cup up. Don't, I didn't say that. Oh my gosh, I haven't eaten pancakes in so long. I guess this will be mommy's cheat meal this week. I'm just super hungry. We have no eggs. Cow. I'm already exhausted. All right, so I'm gonna finish my breakfast and then I actually have to, um, like when I'm staying home with the kids on like a weekday, I ha still have to do some work stuff. So I'm gonna finish eating. And then like I said, I'm gonna have to um, get some stuff done on my work computer. So that's the plan. Um, my head is all over the place. Don't forget you guys that we are launching Eminem Rustics this weekend. This next weekend, I am I am so nervous. I am so excited. I am all of the things and there's been a lot of prep work going into this. Now that we're a little bit more like set up, I will have more time for my um, videos on my personal channel. I have like a better schedule and things like that too. So anyways, I'm sorry guys. February has been kind of a crazy rough month. Hang in there. We've got a lot of really fun stuff coming up. Um, also, just wanted to mention, make sure if you guys haven't seen it already, go and check out my Disney vlogs um, from earlier this month. They're the cutest vlogs. Like our travel vlogs, like don't get a ton of views, but they are seriously like our travel vlogs are always my favorite. Well, so anyways, like Disney vlogs, come on. Like I always put like Jess Fam on and um, Kaya will watch their Disney like um, playlist. Anyways, I want to do the same thing because we plan to take our kids to Disney like annually or like at least every other year and I'll start like building um, a playlist as well. So fun. I seriously love Disney vlogs. So anywho, I think next time we're going to stay on resort. Just like the full experience. What do you think? I want to stay at the, what's the oh, one? So with, like the good. beach pool. Huh? The beach pool? Mm -hmm. Mom, can we just get one? Just get one beach pool. The beach pool, yeah. And I think we're also going to go to the Disney water park next time. Mm -hmm. Disney water park? Okay, super pretty face. Mm -hmm. I love you. You're cute too, pup. He's like right behind the camera. Cute boy. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Three, say it again. Say, all done. All done. <laughs> Good boy. Before I'm going on my work stuff, I am going to pop this roast in the pot pot. Um, so these are just roasts that we buy from Costco and we just like cut them in half. Um, I think we maybe get three or four roasts out of this package. Um, okay, I need to decide what I'm doing first. First, I'm gonna put a little bit of the Mateo salsa, also from Costco. Just gonna add a little bit at the bottom. Um, and then we're gonna do water. And I don't like to go any more than like a third of the way up the roast, because otherwise it just gets, I don't know, just doesn't give it the right um, like texture. It'll get like, like it's better for like roasts if you're gonna like make gravy out of like the stuff on the bottom. But for barbacoa, you kind of want it to like crunch up a little bit. Um, so the plan with this is I will keep it on low until about, I'd say about four o'clock and then from four to six, I'll put it on high and really crunch everything up. Um, one of my favorite things, hey, you two, we're not gonna argue. Anyways, one of my most favorite things to season with is actually jalapeno juice um, especially for like Mexican stuff um, I'll do it for a steak once in a while Riker John don't you go up those stairs um, and then I'm just gonna put a couple of jalapenos in here because I don't want it like too too hot but we do like some heat in our food um, Mike and I really like spicy Kaya actually is starting to like spicy as well but we still have Riker and I don't want it to get too crazy for him. Hi, buddy. Somebody went up the stairs. Hold up. Come here, speaker. Come here. And I finally have the gate up. Okay, so then I'm just gonna do a little bit of the same with the banana pepper um, juice. So the reason why I do this with it is barbacoa has like a tang to it. And I've seen people do like orange juice and things like that in there. And between these juices, we always get the perfect tang with it. I'm gonna do some Worcestershire sauce. 
It just kind of gives the um, it gives it like a, a little bit more of like a depth. So you're getting like different layers of like seasoning in there. Um, like there's gonna be like spicy and tangy, and then there's gonna be like that really rich like salsa taste in there. A little bit of Worcestershire. Sounds crazy, but so good. Um, what are you doing, Kaya? Get! Don't do that. Okay. And then I'm gonna do some garlic. Now um, I'll show you guys. Real quick. This is what the barbacoa is looking like so far. So I've got the sauce around, um, and now I'm focusing on like the seasoning that goes on top. Um, now that I've got my liquid base going, so I'm gonna do garlic. And then I do make sure that I put some like in the liquid around so that the seasonings all like soak up and get yummy. Um, I'm gonna do some paprika. Now I usually do my fine powders first and then I'll do my porous powders later like on top and layer them. And I am not, this is chili powder by the way, I am not light handed with my seasoning um especially like here's the thing with seasoning i love really rich full bold flavors like that's what mike and i are into we love a lot of seasoning and not a lot of salt seasoning and salt totally different things um we don't put very much salt on our foods what are you doing over there crazy boy <laughs> yeah dada i don't know why you're saying dada i'm mama food um, I personally don't think that you can like, I don't know, for over seasoning, like yes, you can over salt it and then it's gonna taste like a salt block. You just need to be careful. Now, these last three things, hey, excuse me, craziness. The last three things that I'm adding are um, the ones that contain salt. So one of the secret ingredients and actually one of my favorite salsas in the world, um, this is local to my area. This is the Mexican Village Salsa Mix and I use this for like, my tacos, my fajitas, my chilies, like all my tortilla soups. Um, I'll use it for my barbacoa. It's just a really, oh, it's so good. It's so yummy. And it makes the best salsa alive. So I'm gonna add that um, in and around. And then the last thing I'm gonna top it off with is this new seasoning that my got. It's called Organic Steak Seasoning by Watkins. Um, Anyways, oh, it's just super good and like peppery. Oh, I forgot to put my pepper on. We'll, we'll add that next. But um, this just has like, um, like unground like peppercorns and all of the yummy things. So, and then I'm gonna top it off with some pepper. I meant to put this on before I did the, um, before I did like the whole ground peppercorns and stuff, but this'll do. All right. This is what it is looking like right now. And the last thing, this has salt in it too. A little bit of Nature's Seasons. The reason I do Nature's Seasons, like my mother-in-law got, got me hooked on it, but it just has like a really good mix of stuff. And actually I enjoy the celery salt that's in there. That's what they use for a salt. Um, it's celery salt. And it's really good on like so many different things. So I know I'm gonna get questions on this too, but the reason why I'm using my crock pot instead of my instapot because you can like slow cook in your instapot but i'll tell you what last time i cooked a roast in my instapot it was not good like and i was worried about that too like when i um purchased the instant pot or purchased when i was looking at purchasing the instant pot somebody ended up buying me it for christmas and for like instant like the pressure cooking meals it's amazing um and i'm i don't think i used the settings incorrectly i did like slow cook for like eight hours and it was still rough like still i mean still tough rough that's gross can you imagine like a rough beef Ooh. um anyway but was not impressed with it, so I am going back to my good old crock pot for today for this barbacoa. And then like to top it off, Mike and I will usually do like like Mateo salsa, um, and then we'll do like corn tortillas for us, and then we just do like regular like flour tortillas for the kids. Um, and sometimes if I can get like a really good like shredded like cabbage mix, I'll do that, like a red cabbage mix, we'll do that on top. Um, and then also what's really good on top is that bitchin sauce that I get from Costco. You guys know which one I'm talking about. It's the organic, it's like vegan, it's made out of almonds. This is the best dip ever. 
so that's also really good on it and then we'll do like some shredded cheese and stuff but um i am going to try and stay away from carbs and dairy for the rest of the week today is like my cheat meal like i don't know guys we had the wedding this weekend and i'm like still recovering like mama doesn't ever go out like that so i need all the carbs in my life right now <laughs> but what are you doing honey no, I'm at the ocean. Oh, you're funny. Are you just playing? You're okay. She's like, she's like standing on this thing. <sighs> All right. I need to clean up this giant mess I just made. Edit a video for you guys and get that up. So, right now, it is just about 9 o'clock. It'll take me like 15 minutes to get my work done for like my actual work. And that my actual work, like, like this isn't like work too, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Alrighty, we're just hooking along this morning, kicking butt. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away. But we don't know oh, About to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for oh, Take my hand We'll make it somehow We can't miss out We just got back from my lash appointment. Um, I just do like the hybrid, which is in between the classic and the volume. No, so, fun. hey, no, it's, it's charging, leave it be. No, look, no this, what? it's broken, this. No, that, it's supposed to be like that, but don't touch it, just leave that be. Um, all right, so I've got a couple things that I need to take care of. I have to do the dishes again. Literally just did them um, in my vlog from Friday and we have not been home very much so okay so anyways this battery's already flashing at me Riker is eating a banana on the floor not like from the floor I gave it to him um while he was sitting on the floor but um this is like the mom dance back and forth and back and forth and back and forth I'm gonna wash my colors off really quick and then I'll tell you guys, I'll show you guys like the, what we're having for supper. Not looking back, eyes on the freeway, Bonnie and Clyde, a classic cliche, we're on the run, this is what we waited for. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow, we can't miss out. I'll die with my own doubts Be free with me Be free Be free with me Be free All right, we've got a crying kid on the background. Somebody got in trouble. But, um, I am I took the juice outside, like out of this crock pot, and now I'm starting to mix in some flour to thicken it up. Um, so essentially, so what we wanna do is, I'm gonna probably take out these jalapenos too eventually, but what we're trying to do is we're gonna wanna get this like coated with this really thick sauce, and then we're gonna wanna crisp it up a little bit in the pan and give it kinda like a, crunchy like char on the outside a little bit but not too much because we, we still want it to stay like really super nice and tender okay 
So this is thickening like super nicely. Just letting it sit at about a five or six um, simmer on here, like or like a more of like a boil. I'm just letting it this sit at about a five or six, and then I have my beef all shredded up. Um, there will not be leftovers of this. I should have made a bigger roast. I should have known better. Mike is going to devour this. He'll probably eat that much, and then I'll just like get this tiny little corner. Um, but. I've got this shredded nicely. The beef is looking really good. It's got a great flavor by itself. And then this is going to, this is really gonna kick up the flavor as well. This is spicy, this is super good. I decided to leave the jalapenos in there. Um, but this will be really, really yummy. I'm trying to let this reduce down a little bit more because I don't want it to be too liquidy when I add the beef in. Once I add the beef, I want it to be like pretty reduced down and then ready for it to like thicken and stick to the beef. And in order for that to happen, it can't be like super runny. It's getting there, like it's not like soupy anymore. It's getting thicker, but um, I need it to be slightly thicker than a gravy. And then I will add the beef. And I just like eye all of this, by the way, just like sprinkled flour in here, like a handful, I could grab like a little handful like that feels like my hand like this and then I just sprinkle it on um, and then if I need to like thin it out I'll add some beef broth like for any kind of gravies and stuff um, and then if I need to thicken it um, I can always add more flour or just let it sit here and reduce but anywho I always get lots of questions in regards to my recipes and things like that which I have decided I will start sharing some of these recipes on the blog and make it look a little prettier than like this Okay, so I just added the beef to the sauce. The sauce was super, super nice and thick. It was getting like really thick and bubbly, almost sticking to the bottom it was so thick. So I added the beef and now I'm gonna let it thicken and kind of crisp up even more. I do not um, put a cover on for this part because that's how it's going to like get all like sticky and yummy is by leaving that cover off and still having it at about a five six and once again sitting down to edit um creating like nobody talks about this but like creating branding for a totally um new youtube channel is a lot of work especially when it's like step by step um like diy stuff like it is so much work um and trying to get everything to coordinate and like make sense and just I don't know how to explain it, but like making everything to come together and I still want it to kind of match my Morgan Bylan stuff because um, like I said, like we're kind of going for like an all around like brand look. So um, I think eventually I'll probably hire a, um, a graphic designer like later on down the road when I want things like kicked up a little bit, but like to start what I have, I think we'll do just fine. Um, Anyway, I've been working like literally all day on that and the new intro, um, YouTube intro for the Eminem channel. It has been so much work. And like I said, like no one talks about truly how much work it is to like set up the branding part. Um, I did have like a little Q and A thing the other day on my Instagram. If you guys um, did not watch that, I will be coming out with like a how to, um, whatever, like how to start a YouTube channel. Um, I'll be doing a video on that um, very soon. I have to do that and I still have to do Riker's one year, one year video and it is dang near, like m it's gonna be March 9th before I know it and he's gonna be, a, it's gonna be like a month late but um, I really want to do a good job on that video and I want to do like a sit down video for you guys like talking about I want to do like kind of like a flashback to like when he was born and then I want to do like um, flashes of like his birthday party and then throw in like some updates and tell you guys like you know really what are his milestones at like one year like what is he doing um, kind of talk about like how he's starting to walk more and things like that um, so um, also before I go tonight, I wanted to mention to you guys, I get a lot of questions or I get a lot of comments, like whether it be on here or on Instagram about like me looking in the viewfinder. And I feel like a lot of YouTubers do this, but, um, my G7X is really old. It's like five years old. Um, 
four years old, five years old, something like that. I think it's four years old. I got it in 2016. Anyways, regardless, it's old for a vlogging camera. It's really seen its better days and it goes out of focus a lot. So I will like look up in the viewfinder just to make sure like my face, like the square is like on my face and focusing on my face. So, but I get a lot of comments saying like, oh, stop looking at yourself in the viewfinder. I have to, otherwise I'm out of focus, you guys. And I feel like me being out of focus is even more annoying than me looking to make sure that I'm focused in the viewfinder. But anywho, all right, I'm gonna edit the crap out of this M&M Rustic stuff tonight. And then I'm recording my working mom morning routine for you guys tomorrow. I'm really excited. So that will be coming for you guys um, on Wednesday. I'm not sure when this video will be going up. I think I'm gonna try and get this up either Tuesday or Thursday, but we'll, we'll see. I should probably do, let's see. Maybe, yeah, maybe I'll throw this up for you guys tomorrow. Um, anyways, if not, you're probably seeing this on like a Saturday or a Thursday, whenever I decided, whatever I decided was less work to edit, the morning routine or this. So, anywho, okay. I'll see you guys tomorrow or the next day for a, another video. Okay, bye guys.